In the last video, we talked about single file components, which is basically a Svelte file. In our project, we have one Svelte file, which is app.svelte. We learned that a Svelte file can contain three sections, namely the script section, the markup section, and the style section. I also mentioned that the script section contains the data and logic for the markup section, which ultimately is responsible for the UI. In this video, let's understand how to bind the data from the script section to the markup section. More specifically, let's start with binding text from the script to the markup. Now we want to start fresh so in main.js, remove the props object. That is to do with components, which we will take a look at further down in the series. In app.svelte, let's have an empty script section. And for the markup, let's have an empty main tag. We could remove this as well, but it center aligns the text, which I like to have for the videos in the series. The style section can remain untouched. All right, now for some code. In the markup, if we were to type hello wishwas and take a look at the browser, you can see the same being displayed. However, this is static text which can never change. Typically, in web applications though, the UI is data driven. Content you see in the browser can be dynamic and needs to change based on the application state. So we need to maintain the data in the script section and then bind that data to the HTML. In the script section, we can define a constant name and set it to Vishwas. Now we have to bind this name to the HTML defined below. And to do that, we use a pair of curly braces. So within the main tag, instead of Vishwas, specify curly braces. And within the curly braces, we specify the constant name. If you now take a look at the browser, our output is still the same. Change name to Batman. And we see the text, hello Batman. So what happens here is that the name constant inside curly braces is replaced with its value. So name is replaced by the string Batman. In fact, within curly braces, you can specify any JavaScript expression you want to. I can change name to two plus two. And we see hello four in the browser. The curly braces support any valid JavaScript expression. So this is the first fundamental concept in Svelte, binding text from the script section to the markup. In the next video, let's take a look at binding HTML.